This video explains how to calculate the sum of the rows and columns of a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that our data frame contains eight rows and three columns x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the sum of each of the columns in our data frame. Then we can apply the sum function to our data frame, as you can see in the next line of code. And we are also using the print function to return the output of the sum function below the code box. So after running this line of code, you can see that an output is appearing below the code box. And this output is showing the sum for all the columns in our data frame. So in this case, the sum of the column x1 is equal to 41. The sum of the column x2 is equal to 24 and the sum of the column x3 is equal to 36. So in this first example, I have explained how to calculate the sum by columns in a data frame. However, it's also possible to calculate the sum by rows of a data frame. And this is what I'm doing in the next line of code. And the only difference of this line of code compared to the previous line of code is that I'm setting the axis argument within the sum function to be equal to the value one. So after running this line of code, another output is returned. On the left side, you can see the index values of our data frame. So as you can see, our data frame is ranging from the index zero to the index seven. And then on the right side, you can see the sum of each row. So for instance, the sum of the first row in our data set is equal to 16. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.